Hello and welcome back once more to Anno 1800. We continue right away with where we ended in the last episode and that is with Crown Falls reaching 50,000 people finally purging Miss Hunt from Cape Trelawney and also reaching tier 5 investor so all of this up to this point was just more or less early game you might call it we enter now mid game with the investors finally upon us we're not by far in end game yet or even close to that but at least we have survived so far we have yeah a beautiful thriving bigger city of course yeah rather basic still but still things are moving in the right direction now i would like to begin this episode right away since we have quite a nice balance there again with um moving my productions to another island and the primary production i would like to move right now is um sand so we have the the, the sand production for the the uh, for the for the spectacle production for the filament production so the light bulbs and for anything else really that requires glass the window production have it right here in crown falls but it gets crowded, right? Uh, this harbor area is at its limit already. Um, I'm not going to add sand mines to my yeah, representative beach area. So we do need to have this somewhere else. It requires what well, workers and outside of that really just bricks and timber. But of course, the biggest requirement for sand is of course, yeah, space, the coastal space that is. And for that, I would like to move it to an island where we have lots of coastal space, but nothing else really that we need out of it. Maynard is one of them. Um, Asterix is the other one. Asterix has still some beach areas left. And Asterix has a commuter pier already. Plus, Asterix has building material production. So all of this points to Asterix being my sand production, beside my grain and beside my oil production for this island. I've left some space up here for uh, beside the oil harbor. Where, by the way, we're now transporting some oil finery away. And now we can fathom at how much Electra really can carry. Uh, I've been wondering for quite some time. And in this case here, it's 146 tons. And this looks like a third of it. So we might be looking at 500 to 600 tons that this one here can carry. Um, if there's any other way of actually having a look at this, please tell me. Because I would really like to know. Now we continue. And having here then a nice... Um, up area right so that means a warehouse that goes then out here with a key let's just check it out um if i want to have my sand mines here they do require a lot of space so i can probably try and achieve it like that let's actually have this look into the right direction and then as far as possible here to the outside look at that this just looks fantastic right it probably will be pretty fantastic so this whole row here we can actually make um let's have the the warehouse closer to this because we are going to need actually a, quite a, a few warehouses for that all right let's make this one one road move it up get rid of that again so this looks a bit cleaner and then we have this whole row of sand mines it's very vulnerable though right so if there is an attack coming yeah the enemy will have an easy target but at some point we just need to neglect um, defenses in order to maximize our productions. You need to always find the right compromise on this um, if you want to make things work. The cool thing about this is it should work like this too. Yep, it does, right? So we can potentially have at least two more here and then a few more here. All right, so that's quite a lot of production ready for sand. Um, one warehouse will be not enough for this. So let's actually go ahead. Can be. Uh, this is not possible. This, unfortunately, is all not possible. So I might actually need to move it like that. Can we then do it? Still, we cannot do this. So as long as there's a production building here, I'm not able to do this. Mm, there might be better ways for actually achieving it then, right? That's quite a few more. This possible. This would be possible all the way here. So we still have even more room available or sand mines here look at that <laughs> that's just beautiful um in that case that's a lot of sand though right so we're probably not going to need that much sand let's get the warehouses going we we are going to need quite a few warehouses mm, i'm actually inclined to go with those three that we then fully upgrade right and this one and yeah let's actually start them i think one of my traders just took away a lot of bricks there it is Let's not trade bricks for a while and build us those warehouses here and then get us the sand production going. Let's have the ones closest um, to the, the warehouses first, right? 
and then we can potentially continue here with more i will need a new trade route for this however um we could actually also use the brick trade route that we have going right now uh there's 200 tons of bricks being delivered to crown falls that's more than enough right so we're probably not going to need more and let's go ahead and get the court sent in here then and this one ship here is doing it for now right these supplement my sand mines for now so i'm not going to get rid of them in crown falls obviously right so we are going to keep both of them together we just need way more sand for the productions that i have in front of me and also what i will need to look at is workforce it's my farmer population is it still no the workload is fine so we really just are at the limit of my farmers and for that let's continue with having farmers in asterisks right my town here that we can still have a bit growing there honestly because that is something we can work for uh yeah also a hospital would be nice i would need a few more a few more windows in for that mm, i think we might get rid of this road again or we just go with this that's also fine actually and having some entrances then here right and then i definitely would like to have also yeah some more special entrances so asterix is a bit of more medieval town so we can have some non-efficiency layouts here too but still we need lots of farmers so i can't do it forever here a bit i mean i really love this district there right despite being it on fire and having a plague <laughs> it's still a really nice uh, looking district there it looks a bit chaotic so let's go ahead and actually get this me uh, two times in that's a nice twisted road to it as well, right? We have them there. Let's still not forget that we also have the Docklands still working for us. And yeah, it's looking rather well, doesn't it? We have now three goods here already leveled up to tier 2 and tier 3. I'm pretty sure, yep, the soap is already there. So let's actually move the soap up to the instead of the fish. That's just more important. And yeah, we also have now a pretty good sewing machines production running for us. Let's just check this out as well here. Yeah, the surplus is 20 tons, 21 tons. And that's 420 tons of surplus per cycle right now that we have going here. So that's a lot of potential import. And I would like to use my sewing machines as my next export good now. And for starters, we're going with iron ore since we're going to need more and more of that. Um, and we are very limited by the amount of iron we can produce, right? So this is it. And let's actually start with 100 tons for now. That's 800 tons of iron ore. And that's a nice start here. I would also like to push my coal import here to 200 now. So doubling it essentially um, to get this going as well. All right, that was just a smaller passerby attack. Nothing to worry about. Still, everything is calm in the new vault, so we can continue. And that's that. Let's also, since the volume goes up quite a bit, add now some uh, loading piers, loading wharfs to that. This increases the, the loading speed bonus, so it decreases the time it takes for stuff to be loaded. And that counts for all my harbor buildings. And yeah, let's start with the first two here. Might actually go for three here, just along my, my depots to make a start and we also have oh, three more trade contracts available that i would like to add as well that's one two and three here just behind the loading wharf as well this is quite a nice amount of additional contracts that we can use now for additional imports primarily of goods that we need in high quantity right so we should actually stop with the wood export i think uh, we have a nice surplus there, right? 130 tons per minute right now. 30 tons of surplus per minute. That's 600 tons that we have actually available right now as an export. So 600 tons is quite fine. Let's actually turn it down to 400 tons. That's still enough grain coming in. Since grain is coming in now from three sources, right? Island in Crown Falls. In, um, down here all the way in Asterix. And then also Docklands. By the way, the oil production is in full swing. Also just beautiful here along the grain farms, we have the oil running. Now we have the room here then for the tractors, right? Since we have the oil production here, we can also use the tractor production, fuel production for this at some point down the road. That would be lovely. Steel is another thing that we are missing right now. Um, that was to be, that is understandable since we have quite a lot of steel consumption now. We can still squeeze in another one here. Steel beams is fine. 
I would not like to boost it with that. So items it is, right? That we should primarily look out for. And lo and behold, there we have it. The white flag spawned at Isabel Samento. Let's take the clipper. Let's purchase the white flag immediately for the 260,000. And with that, we finally have a ship that basically can go anywhere it wants with that beautiful white flag. We're going to send it over to Sleepy Hollow right away because of course my goal is now Eli and at Eli's we're going to find a lot of juicy items. That is though on the other side of the old world, right over here, we got his beautiful prison island, right? The problem with this is it's all the way over here and there's a lot of mishunt presence close by. So I'm not risking purchasing a million credit items and then lose them to mishunt. So in this case here, that's fantastic. The only thing I will still need is a Royal Clipper now. Let's build this one here. And this Royal Clipper will be then right away available to purchase a lot of items for us. Another thing is, of course, my consumption rates with all the upgrades. Yep, once again, we are looking not so great right now on uh, by, uh, uh, spectacles and also light bulbs once again is already out once more. So let's have a look. We do have our filament production. We have the glass makers and I definitely would like to get ahead with uh, two more light bulb factories. This is getting really tough right now to to go ahead with all of this um as it's also of course uh, quite a strain on my economy these light bulb factories are not cheap right each one of them costs a thousand credits in the upkeep that's a lot of money and in that case we are sitting at 33,000. but yeah there's more industry to come so in that case we need all that money and hopefully we can get those prices down now with that let's go to the old world because my ship is closing in Hermes, and i'm really really looking forward to some juicy upgrades by eli all right and a few juicy items we already got out of it now after a couple of rerolls, we got the cake decorator that affects a bakery i was hoping for this item honestly because all my bakeries not only produce more well bread now they also produce chocolate passively which is going to help me out in the early stages of the investors definitely also here soap factory uh, productivity bonus by 30 percent which is important because space is getting limited and with that we can produce more soap without more factories uh, this one i was hoping for the bicycle factory and the sewing machine factories um produce 30 percent more and they also have now the worker workforce employment and we can yeah well get rid of more artisans in this case here and then also in addition to to, the, to this one here, they will both work together. There you the mechanical engineer, the bicycle factory and the sewing machine factory. They produce now um, pocket watches and gramophone and instead of steel use iron, right? So this also saves me more steel because steel is also quite limited. Um, since I was only using my clipper and my royal clipper still waiting here, let's get this back home there. A uh, reason for this is the ship actually entered here and I thought why before I go to the other side of the map, let's actually just send the ship now because this one's on its way now already. You know what, let's actually get this one already to Crown Falls. Um, because I really want to get these items here effective immediately <laughs> or as quick as possible, that is, of course. Now, back in Cape Trelawney, things are looking quiet. By the way, we have this new juicy island over here. That's just perfect, really, right? With grain, red pepper. Mm, there's also the occasional limestone that we're going to need and copper. This is all pretty rare in addition. Now, let's just have a look at my swing machines factory. They are down here. I will need to do something here. So first of all, we have the trade union here that is affecting all the swing machine factories. Perfect. That's uh, one goal achieved. The other thing that we still need to do, though, is I'm going to move a couple of things around here. Because what I would like to also get is my bicycle factories over here, right? So we do have the, the uh, power plant here, right? And we do have them electrified. This is way too much fur code now, I think. Yes. And we don't need that much, right? Um, we're producing more than twice as much as what we need. And that's without propaganda. So let's go ahead and delete me some of these guys here, right? They're not needed anymore. And with that, we're looking at, yeah, a more equal balance here. And yeah, it's, it's not going to be that much more in addition. And with that, we can actually move my penny farthing productions now down here, which I would like to do. So they're still getting electricity right they're still getting um the trade union area here but in addition we can now use them the items that are coming in here that's going to be the important thing yeah a nice surplus production right now of penny far things and only boostable now in the future with this sexy trade union over here now that's all working fine i love it let's actually make this complete we could have another uh, swing machine factory here let's actually get this one blueprinted in this uh, district there so this is one powerhouse right this is only going to get better over time now electricity was only the first step 
uh, on the other hand we have this area here now there we should make sure that we have the bakeries then together right they're not electrified yet so this is another thing i can do here then for these guys why are they not electrified i thought this would actually be possible unfortunately yeah only this one here we could do just check this out yeah three i could get in at the best of times what we could do instead is move that power plant over there ah tricky 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 we could also get a smaller power plant over there or even better i'm moving my yeah i'm moving my bakeries up here instead of the mold so there you go quick as pie we could get another one in here if you want to don't forget the more bread production we have the more chocolate production we have we have by the way a total demand for chocolate of only seven tons right now so i'm pretty sure we can meet that demand with those bakeries here uh yeah let's get rid of this and uh, this road actually is the buffer for the train station so we have a bit of room here that we can so we can still optimize this further right um by moving the bakeries down together with the warehouse and have the road here so with that we have a bit more space up here for something else than entirely. The beer and the malt production can also head back again. Even though this is something we probably don't really, really need, right? So in that case, uh, bread consumption only goes down from here as we are upgrading more artisans um, to engineers and engineers don't drink beer. So it's only going to get less consumption here in Crown Falls at the least. Still, let's have them here, that's fine. And with that, we're looking rather fine. All of them are in a trade union. Yes, they are. Very good. So they're boostable. Now we just need to wait for the items to come in. In the meantime, my ship has returned Hermes. And we're going to send it immediately back to Old World and to Sleepy Hollow. Because there's the Royal Clipper then waiting for us, right? Uh, this attack over here is, as expected, sooner or later, just sends over one ship to destroy my fish oil production here. No big deal. This costs me minimum. Um, I just can't get the defense here. And I'm not going to send a ship every time over here she attacks. So expect this message here for quite some time. It's a bit of the, the micromanagement you ha just have to do at some point. Now, in that case here, we have the goods in. I'm looking forward to them. The first trade unit will cost me zero influence. So that's going to be the more important one that we can choose here from. Uh, that's the bicycle factory and the sewing machine factory here. right? So we can now go ahead with Dario Mechanical Engineer for my bicycle factories and sewing machine factories. Poof, they're, they're being now boosted by the input and also by pocket watches and gramophone production, right? We should see this immediately, how this affects it. With that, we have a total surplus of gramophone. <laughs> Holy shit, that is a lot. And for the pocket watches, uh, it's also amazing, right? So we are fulfilling into very high expensive production chains there. And once they're coming in, so let's actually close them for my... Um, Let's really click, quickly close them for my uh, investors and for my engineers alike. Because I really would like to see how it affects my, my income then, right? Once we activate both of that. Uh, let's quickly also go ahead and have this one again. Oh, he actually demands money this time around. All right, 36,000. There you go. But this is a lot of additional passive production, right? That's just beautiful. I love it. Um, in addition, we have the, there it is, the Drods woman, so 30% more productivity, and also employing now workers. Ooh, that's still a bit steep. I did not expect so much. So let's wait on that real quick, because I do have an expansion planned anyway. All right. I hate that spamming. It's probably because the pirate attacked us for a second there, right? Yes, that's it though, right? So nothing serious happened. And in that case, with that, we have two... Two needs actually fulfilled that will give me lots of happiness and lots of coin per building here, especially the gramophone is steep. Now, I would like to do something else now, and that is a bit of city expansion once more in Crown Falls. We have those farms over there, right? And they're getting a bit in the way of things, right? I mean, they're looking beautiful and it makes sense. We have workers and farmers here, and then we have the fields. But what is actually going on is that Crown Falls wants to continue to grow and we need to do this so we need a lot of potato and a lot of grain in addition let's just see how we can do this we have still a total demand of 52 tons of potatoes and of 77 tons of grain that is just a lot right so that would be 1600 grain per trade cycle um let's actually tackle the potatoes first because it's the easier of, of both of them 
Because what's actually going on is that we're already exporting or importing schnapps out of soap, right? We use this to level up the soap more quickly because we have quite the volume on this. Um, but in that case here, it's not that much, right? So we have a total schnapps demand right now, 53. That's 501,000. Yeah, 1,100 tons of demand for every trade cycle. So in this case here, a, a bit too much. We can lower this down to 1,150 and only export then the 400 here. The fur is being actually entirely produced already somewhere else so this is just a, a safe a safe plan here right a plan b if we're running out of fur um because we really can't afford that right now the ore is just fine right for five minutes the trader is coming in again so we're way not out of it so that's all nice and dandy so that means actually we can get rid of the whole production chain that is not only the potato fields but also the schnapps distilleries saving me a lot of workforce let's delete all of these farms here There you go. And now onto the task of finding me the schnapps distilleries. And of course, they were here somewhere in this area, right? I remember them. Or was it somewhere else? It's been too long. There they are. It's actually not that much anyway. Is that the whole schnapps production? Oh, this doesn't sound good though. There is an airship attack on Pleasance too, but it's just an airship attack, right? They're moving back again. She, is she actually trying to take this island here with just one ship? I mean, she can, of course. She could. But she won't. Oh, this is also risky. Alright, she's not <laughs> bombing my ships because that is entirely possible if you time it right. And they're doing a lot of damage. But in this case here, nothing else is, work, uh, is is going on right now. But a grain, we are doing something entirely different now. And that is finally also using the silo and with that fertilizers. Now, how do we get the fertilizers? There is a mod for this. Um, up to this point here, you were only able to use them in the new world, right? But that was really limiting and I don't like this so much. I would also like to use the fertilizers in the old world or in Crown Falls, that is, because it makes absolutely sense. And in this case here, what we have is the public toilets. That is a new building and I love it. <laughs> because with that, we can collect the dung of my population and in a fertilizer fermentation factory, we can then actually uh, make fertilizers out of that that we deliver then down. So it adds actually a new production chain to the game with their own upkeep cost and with their own workforce demand and i love that it's fantastic now the toilet is this it's only a one slot building right so it's, it's very tiny um, as it should be of course and we can then have it here along the along the production however i think needs a connection to a warehouse which makes the whole thing a bit tricky again so let's just see how we can do this let's have one down here for now right that's actually really close to the industry zone Someone gets out there already. I think it does not need a connection to the warehouse, does it? We'll just see. People are going now here, and based on the residents in the surrounding area, it will collect now dung from these people. Now, as you can see, the production time is actually quite long though, right? It takes three minutes to produce just one ton of that. So that means we do need quite a lot of these toilets here. They cost me quite a bit, especially 50 workers each is a lot. They also cost me 50 on the upkeep. So yeah, it's not just a, a cheaty way of getting your production boost here. Nope, we have to make some choices here again, especially how many of these toilets we want to place right now. So let's start down here with these guys here. So this is working like the postal office. Right? The more residents you have in the surrounding area, the more production comes out of that. By the way, there's also a lot of demand from engineers to upgrade in this area. Let's give it. Let's give in, right? And upgrade them. The city sinks into traffic chaos. A 50-strong panel of experts made up of the empire's finest engineers and scholars is currently discussing innovative modes of transportation that can keep the great metropolises functioning efficiently. This unlocks now, I think, the subway system that we should have that's a modded version or a mod right there it is in around 400 we can get the metropolitan transport department up that unlocks and the whole subway system that's still a bit off i'm sorry for that it's very complicated and very expensive to get this going and we still need africa for it for now let's go ahead and upgrade a few more people here to engineers and to investors mass transportation has been unlocked yep with that we get the underground system 
All right, let's continue with a few more upgrades here, especially in the city center, right? And look at my influence. We are ready for some propaganda again soon. Also, city council finally decides on subway construction. <laughs> I love how the mod actually also uses the newspaper here to tell us the glorious, glorious news. With that also, by the way, two more things happened. Uh, the first one is that we have the first legendary export good. Hooray! It is fish. Now, fish is not something we can use for anything, really. Um, I might as well also entirely stop using it now. Uh, we'll just see, right? Let's keep it active for now. We have a huge fish production up and running. In that case, yeah. It's nice because it unlocks me more export offices, right? We have two more slots available that I can use. Another thing also happened... Oh. Tobias is also telling us something again. Um, another thing also, the first dung is in the storage. So in that case, oh, that's two monitors there actually. She's just trying to, to annoy us, right? Nothing else. I might actually get me some more ships over here and start patrolling the ocean. I should be doing this, honestly. Right, look at that. Yeah, she's going to destroy this one. Smaller clip, but we need to replace it with another one. It's my red pepper and beef production. Not that she has any other ships here. She's just trying to annoy me with those two monitors. Let's get them over. These four here, by the way, will patrol that area, right? So we're we're going to secure this channel here for us. They're going to not be passive any longer. And then we're going to use another four ships to also patrol the southern area. So this one. Right, we want to put up these patrols now. And want to start protecting my trade routes. That ship that we just lost, there's already the replacement waiting. Mm, there it is. Ktonius, it's called. Off it goes. Right on time. The dung is in, so with that, we can now start the fertilizer production. And, oh, also we have unlocked the cathedral, another huge monument that I've prepared, but that's also very expensive. 2.5 million just for the foundation. It's going to take quite some time. Let's go ahead and, yeah, get us the fertilizer fermentation factory. There it is. Uh, it produces then every 30 seconds, so 2 tons per minute with electricity 4 tons per minute. I think that should be fine. However, ooh, it does require access to the ocean. Uh, so let's have it here. The first one, right? It does have electricity. Yes, so we can boost it. Right, it takes the dung and then produces fertilizers. So what we also need is, there is my brick delivery somewhere here. Mm hmm Instead of this slot here, we're going to say pick up the dung in or fertilizer in Crown Falls, right? And unload it in Asterix. And once we have a bit of that in Asterix, we're going to finally give us the silos to the grain farms to also increase our production and we can get rid of the grain farms then. Now, we should have at this point also uh, enough, enough, enough gramophones and enough yeah, there it is. Gramophones, 83 tons. And pocket watches, 84 tons. Perfect. Let's unlock it for my investors. They're going to be super happy about that. We're sitting at 31,000 right now. Let's go crazy, right? Also, they're not that happy right now. So with those two things, I'm expecting now a nice jump. That is unexpected. Let's just see how she's doing it. With two monitors, she's trying to take over this island here. That's that's risky, to say the least. Alright, the goods are coming in. We're looking at almost 50,000 on income now. And my investors are also not that happy because Hugo Mercer just dropped the discontent package. And we're running out of bicycles. How's that possible? Outchuk. Did we lose the trade route for this? Nope, both are still active. We just don't have enough production going. Probably it. Uh, she's already backing off with this one. I mean, that would be funny if she can actually manage to pull this off. Uh, she could actually take it over. That would be annoying. Now my ships are coming in. Saving the day. That was close though. Yeah, she's going to lose this one. Perfect. 
There's also a couple more ships down here by Miss Hunt that are stuck. We're also going to take care of them immediately. Now with that, yeah, nice boost overall to my city. I wonder why my happiness didn't go up that much. I think because we are running out of bicycles at the same time. And coffee. All right. Ah, uh, one problem solved. Two more coming up. Also, my Royal Clipper should have arrived. There it is. Royal Clipper. Add Eli. Let's go crazy again. Let's hope for some good stuff. Now, I can't complain what we got for now. Now we have a reroll cost of 75,000, so I'm going to wait it out a bit. And in that case here, we got the expert planter. This is a grain farm production boost of 50%. Uh, we got the fur dealer replacement. Uh, instead of cotton, we use wool, which is amazing because then we don't need the cotton from the new world anymore. That is huge. Um, we have the general foreman. Uh, this is a nice boost to my brick factories with workforce reduction and also to produce steel beams in addition. And then we got the steely eyed steelsmith that boosts the steel works by 30% in addition, which is just amazing for my steel production. Now I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to send the clipper back yet. We are going to wait for another rolling time that we can have them. Yeah, that's, that's super nice because it is imminent that we can get rid of the cotton a delivery then to Crown Falls, which is going to be a nice, a nice booster overall. Now, um, hmm, what to do? What to do? I think we should, we could be upgrading again. So we still have lots of artisans here. Let's go ahead and do this. There you go, and also some workers there again, right? So this whole area here is getting more and more city-like, and also these guys here, perhaps. And then we're down to 800 hours since again. So I should be a bit more careful uh, about this, right? It will, of course, increase my coffee production once more. Um, but it also increases, once again, the importance of my service buildings here in the center. Especially also of my electricity. So that's that. Speaking about electricity, we are looking fantastic on the oil. Thanks to the six oil springs that we got down here, right? So the oil delivery is perfect for us and, for now, sufficient. Onwards to the numerous queues that we have right now to Rosario. We still have that island. That's great. And in Rosario, we can now go ahead and finally get us the cotton rolling again. So we have... Cotton is expensive, right? And we have now a total <laughs> demand of 15 in Crown Falls. We would do 6. Yeah, so we don't need to get... Let's not make 7. Um, 9... Let's make 12 to have a surplus again, right? That means we need to have 12 additional cotton cotton plantation uh culture plantations that's a lot right because just these five here cost me fifty thousand. but that's not enough so let's go ahead and also have these guys here um perhaps we make it like this because there's not going to be that much more right we could of course also use the fertilizers in these farms we'll just see There you go, another four. And I think we're not boosting them yet, are we? No. There's also the trade union here then for all of these. That would be also then amazing. But for now... It's not worth the time. Or rather not. Let's just get this going. They just need a lot of space though. Alright. Um, yeah, let's also upgrade at least one of these warehouses here as well. The total storage is 170 tons. We do have 18 production now, so this is fine. Right, production now meets demand. Do we have ships? We have two ships working on this already with 150. So we still have more than twice as but No, actually, no, it's close. So let's also get us some additional storage over here because I want to boost this. By the way, with that influence that we have, let's build me another Royal Clipper. We can do this in the New World too. Lovely. And get us the bricks over then. Now, coffee is the other increased demand that we have. So, I'm going to build all of them here right away. Once again, that's quite the steep cost that we have. Let's also upgrade one of these warehouses once more to accommodate for the increased traffic that comes out of that. And then we have the coffee roasters. And they're not here. <laughs> they're on the other side of Manola. So many industry zones, sometimes it's a bit hard to track it. And let's build me some four more coffee roasters. We still have that workforce here just fine in Manola. All right, back to Crown Vaults, because by now we should have fertilizers coming over. 
So there's the production for this. There's Asterix. Yeah, some six tons are in. So it is time. It is time to build that first silo right here. There it is. And with that silo, we are boosting the grain farm by another 100%. Once the dung is coming in, the fertilizers. So all that juicy stuff from Crown Falls found its way to Asterix and can now be used on the fields to make, well, grain that produces the bread again to make the dung. I guess that's the cycle of life. So there it's coming in. Actually, each silo needs its own transportation, right? So its own cart. There it is in. And with that, we have now finally used this and actually got a new achievement, and that is using fertilizers in the old world. Using it on the first field. The cool thing about this one is that it does not increase the size of it, right? So we don't need more fields for this. We just boost them per se by 100%. Let's actually use the next silo then right away. Over here, boosting the next green farm by 100%. Let's also check out how many fertilizers we need. Not even one ton right now. In Crown Falls, we're producing four tons at the moment. This is nice, right? So in that case, we can use quite a few more fertilizers. Boosting all these grain farms here. Of course, we need more dung for this because I think dung is something that we actually lack right now. Yeah, we're only producing one ton of dung. So that's something we need to work on a bit more diligently. Collecting more. Yeah, you name it. Let's have another one here. Another one here by the church. Should be especially a lot. Mm, yeah, the range is really small. I wonder if it matters if we have workers or investors. Right? If the higher population tier actually gives an increase in production. Hmm, now with that we're running out of workers. Uh, actually, let's get this one somewhere else. Does it need to have a road connection? It does not. That's amazing because then we can actually have it in these courtyards as well, which just helps my calls a bit more. Let's upgrade farmers, especially these guys here. We need the workforce. There you go. Perfect. Right. And yeah, we're very close now to finally abandoning those grain farms. And as another day is coming to an end, and another care package is being dropped on my population. By the way, this looks fantastic from the ground. We end this episode once again and head back to new adventures in the next episode. Stay tuned. <laughs>